let's go back to trigonometry for today. So we are asked to find the value of x. Now we are going to use cosine rule. Let me give you a hint. For you to know that you are going to use cosine rule and not the sine rule is this. For you to use cosine rule, notice that we have something like a v here. You have a v. There is an angle there given and you are giving the sides as well. So whenever you see this sign, you have a V, like a V, right? Yeah, you have a V, you have an angle given and the two sides are given. The two sides subtending the angle are given as well. Go ahead and make use of your word, your cosine rule to find your X. If, if it is for sine rule, okay, let's leave that one. Let's just concentrate on what we have. So this is what is showing me that I should use my cosine rule to work on this. Now let's go ahead and solve the equation. Now one thing that students find hard is how to memorize the cosine rule. It is actually very easy. Now let me tell you how I know mine. You know that when you have your triangle, for example, this is what we have here. We have A, we have B, we have C. Okay, know that the uh, side facing your A, the capital A is your small A. The side facing your capital B is your small B. The side facing your capital C is your small C. Okay, that is the first thing you need to know. Now, what do you need to know again? The only thing now is for you to know how to write your, um, what is it called? Your formula. Notice that we are looking for X. That is the small A because that is the side facing our A. So what do we do then? This is it. Your small a squared, okay, is going to be equal to. Now you are what? You are going to make use of just small b and c because you are looking for small a. Just see what I'm trying to say. You write your b squared plus c squared. That is because you are, you are looking for side a. Just make use of your b and c. Minus 2bc. Notice that I'm still making use of my bc. Cause... It's not when you write cos because you are going to use the cosine rule. It's not when you write cos that you are going to bring in your A, your capital A. You see what I did? Very easy. Because I'm looking for side A, I'll write my A squared. It's going to be equal to, all I'm going to make use of in this place is mostly the B and the C, the small B and the small C. The only place my A is going to come in again is what? my capital A. So it's going to be B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Very easy. Now we go ahead and bring out our parameters. Now when you look at this, you are going to notice something. You are going to know that your capital A is what? 38 degrees. Now your small A is what we are looking for. This one. Now your small B is the side facing your capital B, which is 15 your small c is the side facing your capital C, which is 19. So we go ahead and substitute this, this thing that we got into this particular equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So our a squared, which is what we are looking for, is equal to our b is 15. So we are going to have 15 squared plus our c is what? 19. 19 squared minus 2 times our b is what? Our b is 15 times our c is 19 because our capital A is 38. So all you need to do there is to just substitute. Very, very easy. Now we go ahead and solve this. Our a squared is equal to 15 squared. We give us 225, right? Yeah, 225 plus 19 squared. We give us 19 squared. We give us 361. So we write 361 minus 2 times 15 is 30. 30 times 19 is going to give us 570. So we have 570 cos 38 degrees. Okay? So we have A squared is going to be 225 plus 361. We give us 586. Minus now 570 cos 38. If we should press that, we are going to have 570 cos 38. We are going to have 449.1661. 449.1661. Four, four, six, six, one. four, four, six, six, one. I don't want to approximate yet. Okay, so my a squared is going to be equal to so we are going to have 586 
minus 449 points. So we are going to have 136.833. Okay, let's stop at 834. Okay, now our A is going to be what? Square root of 136.834. And this is going to give us square root of 136.834. It's going to give us 11.698, which we can write as, okay, in centimeters, right? Yeah, in centimeters, which we can round off to what? 11.7 centimeters to one decimal place and this becomes our solution thank you so much for watching and i wish to see you next time bye